What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java. So wala man akong pasok bukas. So why not make a tutorial video at exactly 12:13 a.m. <laughs> so yun. So in this excuse me guys. So in this tutorial video guys, so usapan natin na yan how to scan data in Java. So magiging tayo ng data sa user. So and ipe-print lang natin. So ganun lang ka basic. So bago yan um, in Java, guys, as I've said, um, we have the classes, pero there's another way kasi in scanning data in Java. Tinatawag na buffer reader. So, pero hindi yun yung yan ako. Magbabakasakali lang ako kung alam nyo yun. So, ang hindi discuss ko yung tinatawag na yung scanner class. So, let's do this. And what do I mean by that? So, ganito. So, bago, if you want to ask a user, sa java ng input so you, you just have to type scanner yan scanner then uh, your variable name so kahit ano mo pwede scanner scan lang so is equal to new scanner ganyan then system that in so ano nga what do I, ano nga bang ibig sabihin nito basically guys this scanner itong scanner na to Diba, um, kung na, sana napanood nyo yung tutorial ko about classes and objects, okay? Sana, I'm assuming na napanood nyo yun. If hindi, um, panood nyo muna bago, bago nyo to. Madali lang naman yun at this mga 7 minutes lang naman nata yun. So, as I've said, itong scanner na to, this is actually a class from Java. It is a class. It's yun kung anong class, diba? Kung baga, uri ng isang bagay, parang... As I've said, discuss ko na yun, so I'll assume na alam nyo na. So, this is actually a, a class from Java. So, in this in this line of code, sinasabi lang naman natin dito is, we are making an instance of a type scanner, which is, yun yung gagamitin natin, yung object na yun, we are making an, ob uh, an object type scanner, which is of name scan, which is the variable name, Ang gagamitin natin tong object na to para makapag-scan tayo sa user. Gets? Gets, guys? So, basically, basically, this means that we are making an object, an object type of scanner. Then, yun yung gagamitin natin para makascan tayo ng data sa user. Okay? So, this is actually a class from Java. So, as I've said, yun yung parang class, parang blueprint. And from a class, you can make multiple mga iba't mga objects of type nung class na yun, syempre. So, yun. Alam nyo na alam nyo yan, ha? So, kung makikita nyo, may error, may pula. So, one thing po pala, before natin magamit yung etong scanner class na to, we have to import, we have to type here sa taas, we have to type import java.util.scanner. So, what does this mean? What does, anong bang ibig sabihin nito? Kung i-erase natin guys, may shortcut to, ganyan, you just have to type, i-press nyo yung control, shift, i. Then, lalabas yan, then, ini, ang sinasabi lang naman nito is, ito yung kailangan mong i-import na, na, na package which contains the scanner, yung source code ng scanner class. So, i-import mo lang dito sa source code mong to. So, okay. Then, pareho lang naman nangyari. So, ganun lang naman guys. Control shift i eh, gusto nyo mag-shortcut. So, kung makikita niya wala ng error, so, ganun lang naman. So, may paraan pa rin yan. Ganyan. Then, click nyo lang to. Then, ayan. Yan, yan. So, ano, mas madali yung control shift i So, ganun. So, enough talk. So, as I've said, ito na, may na tayong error. So, ano pa, may nakalimutan pa ba ako? So, basically guys, import just means na, actually, itong java.util.scanner, this is actually guys, ano siya, package, parang ganito. So, it, yan na package na yan, itong package na to, it contains the scanner class, yung source code niya. Kung i-right click nyo yan, navigate, go to source. Yan. Ito yung source code niya ng scanner na class. Ito yung source, source code niya. So, ang haba, di ba? 
So actually yan. So ini-import natin tong source code na to dito sa source code natin dito sa program natin. So ganun lang naman nag parang basically from the word itself import. So ito na. Wala na tayong ano. So system.out.println um, For example, enter lang tayo ng integer. So please enter your favorite number. Then ganyan. Then, as I said, in the previous, um, sa mga nakalipas na minuto, gagamitin natin yung object na to. As I said, nag-create tayo ng instance of object of type scanner. Gagamitin natin yung object na to, which is ito. Yung, ito lang guys yung variable name. Gagamitin natin yan para makapag-scan tayo. So, you just have to type. Di ba ito may label na tayo, system.out.println. Please enter your favorite number. Then, you just type scan, ayaw, kalimutan ko yung, ano, yung integer j. So, declare lang tayo ng integer, for example, integer number. Empty lang yan. So, number is equal to scan your variable name of the object. So, the, that, yan yung mga functions niya sa class. Then, ngayon, yung napin natin guys. Ito pala, next int. Next int. Then, number. Wait lang. Scan.get. Next int. Yes, next int. Ganyan. Ganyan guys. So, yun. So, kung makikita natin is system.out. Na-scan na natin. System.out.println the number you've entered is then ganyan then the value of number so once we run this run you guys sa program nyo please enter your favorite number let's enter nyo for example 9 the number you've entered is 9 diba so ganoon lang naman guys so if you want to ano um for example for example um for example, na to, um, float of type float. Hindi siya next int. Kasi ito for integers lang. Meron siya actually guys na nakaano siya next. Next. Ayan. Ayan ba? May next long. May pang next float. May byte. May ano. Next double. Boolean. Ganyan. So, for string. So, I'll leave it to you guys for experiment. Pareho lang naman yan actually sa integers. Kasi ang pinagkaiba lang naman is yung yung data type actually. So, next float, you can actually enter um, 2.4, ganyan. Pareho sa double. So, sa string, so, sa string naman, ay, sa string na lang ako mag, ano, so, sa string, please enter your, for example, enter your name. Then, meron tayo ditong, di ba, I've discussed na strings, yung basic lang na concept ng strings sa pang ilang video ka ata yun. Pang apat ata yun o tatlo. So, I'll assume na alam nyo na ang string. So, basically, it's just a group of... <coughs> excuse me. It's just a group of characters. Na basically, it's just a word, kumbaga. So, name is equal to scan. That, sa string is actually next line. Hmm. Wait lang. Tama. Next line. So, next line. Ganyan. So, um, by the way, ang kagandahan ng... NetBeans is actually once once you ganito ka nag-scan ka then you press the dot operator lumalabas na yung mga built-in functions from that ano from that object of type kung anong class yon so yon ito na lumalabas na siya so hanapin mo na lang so ito ito rin kasi yung kagandahan na gumagamit ka ng IDE um as I said integrated development Ano nga bang IDE? Basta yun na yun. <laughs> so, next line. So, yun. Then, name hello. Let's just print this. Hello. Then, your name. So, let's run this. Then, please enter your name. So, gels. Hello, gels. So, ganun lang naman guys. Um, Ganun lang naman po sa pag-scan ng data sa Java. So, 
wag niyo kalimutan na yung sinabi ko about dito, then the import. So, just rewind the video if medyo din yung naget. So, ganun lang naman guys. Um, basta I'll ex experiment na lang sa float, sa double, sa long. Pareho lang naman yan. Um, ang pinagkaibay ba lang naman is yung data types. Pero the way they scan is just the same. So, palitan nyo lang yun nandito. Next float, next double, next long. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope na may natutunan kayo. And see you in the next tutorial. Thanks!